All right. Hello, okay. every. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, this this week on the Easy Update show, I'm joined by Jack. It's me, Jack, here joining my friend Ian on the Easy Update show. You may remember him from uh, the last Ian's Torture Chambers. Uh, I was there. Anywho, this week... I also I also featured in some previous episodes, didn't I? Damn it, Jack. I just want them to know that it's the <laughs> same... I'm the same it's, one. He's the same you know, one. A recurring character now. Recurring... Upon the show. A staple of the series. This week... We're doing a thing. I thought it would be interesting to uh, do a little how-to video on how to make an RPG Maker game. So I'm in here to teach you and Jack all about it. So let's begin. The only idea that I have, that we have, is there's a spell called frickemup.com. And we're basing the entire game idea off of that. I think it's a solid foundation. Yeah. For a, uh... This is RPG Maker MV. I don't know what those letters stand for. I do not know. This map is our starting map. Uh, let's say that this game... Maybe it'll have an overworld. So let's make... Let's right click here, make a new map. And let's call it Inside. We're just going to use the basic kit that comes with the game here. Uh, and then, uh, that size is probably fine. If you want to have an auto, if you want to have it auto play a background song, you click on auto play BGM. It's BGM background music. Background music. Mm. And we can listen. Oh, oh, oh. That one. Yeah. I have a scene Soothing. in mind. Jack, I have a scene in mind. Alright, I'm just following along. I'm just trying to keep okay. up. Okay. So we're gonna click on this uh the square tool which is the kind of that it does what I just did. And then we're gonna make a little room. And our scene is our our game is gonna start off with a little bit of a sad scene here, oh, Jack. Oh. Which oh. floor do you like better? Hit him with the emotions. I like that weird this shape little parquet one. or whatever. Yeah, is that what it's called? Uh, he, uh I believe it. All right, so we're gonna make a square. Is this so the maps are they like screens that you can transition between? Yeah. Via doors. Each or map something? is a new little level, oh, a little oh, room oh, or whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we'll I'll show. We'll get into all that. We'll get into all that. All right. Oh, uh, what kind of walls do we want? This one. Well, you. This is. What, what's the Ooh, emotion of the scene? Those are fancy. Uh, so I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking, Jack. Let me tell break you. Break it down for Let me. Let me break it down. Here's my idea. Uh, turns out I didn't need that black surrounding area. This is going to have to be here. Um, so here's what I was thinking for the beginning scene. Our grandfather's deathbed. Oh, my word. And Not Gramps. Gramps is Papa. teaching us. Papa. Papa. He's teaching us how he, he's saying, you know, hey, I'm going to die now, tra-la-la, but, but lo, uh, remember our family's magic spell. If you ever get in trouble and need to defend yourself, use mm. the magic spell that I taught you, our family's name, our family's secret magic, frickemup.com. <laughs> Good. An emotional <laughs> The magic scene. spell frickemup.com. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go to system. We're going to get rid of a starting party. We don't How want... did you get to this screen here? Okay, I clicked on. on this gears. These gears. <laughs> okay, cool. My role in this so far is <laughs> missing what you did and asking <laughs> you to repeat it. <laughs> no, that's great. Uh, you're, you're keeping me accountable. All right, so we don't need this formation. Is, this is all kinds of options. We don't need... Let's just not have equipment... Or status. What do you? What is? Items. What's even happening right now? So these are the menu commands. I'm just removing them. Okay. We're gonna make a simple little title. It's gonna be great. Don't even worry okay. about it. Um, just okay. trying to keep up, you know. Yeah. So uh, okay. So we hit okay, and uh, let's make our hero. 
character. Good. We okay. can do that with the character generator. We do that with the character at generator. At the top of the screen. Gotta be female. Sometimes oh, sure. I make a character, uh, you know, so you can choose. I see the RPG maker comes with the, the furries ready to go. Uh, those, that's actually a uh, really weird... Bon thing that came with some bonus pack that I got a long time ago. For so life. you added the furries yourself. Well, what I want. I'm not I was, surprised. I love uh -huh. it. Uh <laughs> huh. <laughs> what I was after, I think, was a hood. I need a hood for the swords card game or oh, RPG that oh, I'm making. Sure. I need a hood, and they didn't have that. Anywho, so let's make us. What, what kind of chin do you want? This one. Sure. It's a nice, a nice chin. I like that skin tone. We're Maybe. not going to be a lizard person. I guess you can't have everything. We could be a lizard person. <laughs> Damn that it! Adds, that adds a narrative level of narrative complexity to this that we're just not. Like, how does that relate to frickemup.com? It doesn't. You know. It doesn't. Then it, it doesn't. brings up all these questions of eggs and like where did well, you hatch? And like, are you, is your grandpa human and like whatever? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of an interesting idea. Should we be a lizard person? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we're getting pretty wild, wild and crazy. I don't like here. the way it looks. I the, don't like the way this the looks. the end of the day, the mouth placement is just it's, not. It's off. It's not right? a good oh, place. Oh, they have a lizard mouth. We just have to. Oh. Damn it! I guess we're gonna be a lizard person. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have huge anime eyes? Constantly Weeping crying. eye. Constantly crying. We were very close to grandpa, okay? We're it's devastating to lose a, yeah. a family member like that. And like the how how much time does the game take place over? You know, a couple like hours? Ten, yeah, ten minutes. You're gonna you're What's that? No nose, good. We don't want a nose. Yeah, we're we a we're need, a damn lizard. Yeah. The nose is included right. in the snout. And get some neck dots. What are the neck that looks kind of like you are making out with another lizard? Con confound it, Jack. <laughs> what is this? What the hell is that? I, I'm all for the idea. I mean, like, we've had a life leading up to this moment. What if they're, like, purple? Mm. I don't like that they're on our turtleneck here. Beast ears. Gotta slap those puppies on there. Get some horns. Oh, wait. Oh, double up on the ears, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's too bizarre. All right. Let's give us a lizard tail. Mm-hmm. Everyone else is human, though, and it's never explained. Okay. How's that? That's fine. And we have wings. Nah, they don't look good. All right. Uh, we need to get something that doesn't have a turtleneck. Oh. Oh, there we go. Red. Oh, that's great. That's just but great. But red, though. Oh, it complements the, the green yeah. of our skin. Also, how are we feeling about this hair, though? I don't even... I don't even know. But, oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah. We cover up some of our face because we're embarrassed that we're crying over grandpa, you know? But that's a human emotion. We've all been there. Mm, I like the dark hair. Kind of dangerous. Blue. Well, blue is kind of mm, cool. Yeah, I like that too. Alright, do we want rear hair? Oh, she's cool. Yeah, she's really cool. Alright, alright. So this is us. We're a lizard person. <laughs> Everything's fine. We're crying forever. All right, so this is well, weird. we're crying for these ten. The duration yeah, yeah, of the right. game. Yeah, yeah, right. She's sad. Okay, so you go to face image, you go to export, and then you save it. So this is in our frick 'em up IMG faces folder. Okay. Uh, Lizzie. That's her name. Well, whatever. Uh, but also probably Lizzie, huh? I don't know. Oh, we're Lizzie. exporting. So we're exporting PNGs of our character. Oh, the sprites. The, the little see. sprites. Lizzie DMG for damage. Dam oh, that's I hope there. she's never damaged. Battler, export. She's l been hurt enough already with the loss of Papa. Probably we want to do... And we're going to save it just in case we need to change something later. Alright. Done. Character Finito. Beautiful. So now, what we does <coughs> is we take this... <coughs> We're going to switch to event mode, which is here. Oh, boy. We're going to copy that. Actually, we're going to cut that so that our that's our starting character. You, the game begins with that. Oh. And we're going to start right here next to Papa. He's going to oh. be on the bed. But that starting character isn't the right character. Right. What do we do, Ian? Well, I'll tell you. So we hit the system menu again. Okay. And then we go uh, to actors. 
and we say, okay, we're not Harold. No, no, no. no, no. We're Who's Harold? Lizzie. And we go, uh, your face is Lizzie, and your character is Lizzie, and your battler is Lizzie. So we've got these battlers going on here. Uh, apply. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have level one. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do that. Uh, so we're going to go system. Use side view battler, because that's SV battlers. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do the side view battle, this, like this Final whole, Fantasy VI or whatever. This whole database window is... It's, over, it's a lot. It's overwhelming it's with options. Uh, all you need to... I don't know how those who are following along at home are going to... Let's change the currency to bucks. Nice. Instead of G. All right. So what the one the most important thing here in this entire game is we need to make we need to make frickemup.com the spell. Yeah. So let's do that now. Frick um up frick um up dot com. Oh wait, but it's a URL and a website. Yeah. Or and a spell. Should it all be lowercase? If it's a URL? Nah. No, they, they have... Also, probably, hang on. <laughs> Let's see what we're endorsing. <laughs> Wait, go to frickemup.com and well, see what we're endorsing. I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually kind of shocked that frickemup.com had not been taken by someone else already. <laughs> I'm not shocked at all. What is your family's uh, ancestral spell? Yes. How do you spell ancestral? I think you got it. Whatever. What's a good image for frickemup.com? A computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a computer is right. <laughs> Damage type. HP drain, HP damage, element, darkness. Oh yeah, it's a dark. Sp it's a powerful hit, spell. Yes. Uh, MP cost ten. Magic scope, all enemies. Battle screen only. Uh, success one hundred percent. No one fails at frickemup.com. Yeah. You're part of the family. If some other person who's not a part of your family tried to use your ancestral spell, probably have a much higher failure rate. Right now, we're 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 designing the spell. We're naming it. We're uh, doing this. The message here is what'll show up in battle when we use it. Uh, so it's gonna say player name. Should it be casts? Yeah, casts frickemup.com or does or uses. Uses is kind of like a Pokemon esque. Okay. Well, oh, okay, that makes it the spell name. That's fine, that's what cool. we wanted. Okay, uh, required weapon, none. Uh, type, effects, let's see, state. Let's have it also cause confusion. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pretty confusing spell. Yeah, okay. <laughs> also, we need to make sure, we need to go to our actor's screen uh, no, no, no. We need to go to classes, which is hero. Our, our, our actor's class, Lizzie's class, is hero. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to class, and we're going to take away every ability besides frickemup.com. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not sure if you can make it so you can't do a normal attack. Ooh, that's a limit of the, the engine there. Well, I, there's probably a way to do it. There's a, usually a way to do whatever. Okay, we're gonna have it so you can't equip anything. Lizzie doesn't use weapons. Yeah, she has we don't have a weapon. Spell. Yeah, none. No, no weapons. Uh, the only problem with that is we've made the spell cost MP, so uh, we're gonna have to deal with that. See, I have some questions. Yes. So, the scope of this game is a loved one dies and gives right. you a gift. Right. Is how you then... Let's just make it free. That'll make it way easier. Your, your loved one's death gives you a gift that lets you overcome all the obstacles of the game. Like, what's, what's the message that we're, that we're giving the kids on this one? I think that's you know? a very good point. And I think what we should try to decide... Yeah, what the point of this game 
We're kind of jumping into this without any thoughts or ideas other than frickemup.com. Which, again, solid foundation. Oh, yeah. We'll worry about that when we come to it. Okay, so we start here. We're on... This is the event view. So we're going to... Oh, yeah, you can't edit this event. How do we make it so that we... I want to start looking to the right. Okay, so what we're going to do is... In this room, because this room is a cutscene. The game starts with a cutscene, right? Right. So we're going to have this auto-run event that is going to now... So I've clicked... Discard. I'm, I'm in event mode, not map mode. I'm in event mode. I click over here off screen somewhere, you know, off on this wall. Mm -hmm. And I'm setting this to be an auto-run action. An auto-run event. Okay? Interesting. Interesting and so stuff. now... I click here and it brings up the event commands options. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is make our character, we need to make our character turn and face the right immediately. Oh my god. Medium spicy is very spicy. Uh, I, I didn't warn you. <laughs> oh my Set god. movement around. Okay. Turn right. Don't repeat movements. Good. All right. So that'll make our character turn right. Now we need a grandpa. Male. Old face. White hair. That's his face. Uh, gray ass hair. Some cool, cool grandpa anime hair. Oh! That's a cool grandpa. I'm your grandpa. That's pretty cool, Gramps. Mmm, that's a silver fox. <laughs> He's got the opposite side sweep as us. Mmm. Okay? It's a metaphor. Whatever, this is our grandpa. Export. Gramps. And Gramps won't battle, but we'll save it in case we decide later that he needs to battle. Face image, walk character. We need a walk character. Gramps. Okay. Dunzo, Dunzo.com. All right, so now we are going to put our gramps here. Gramps. Laying in the bed. He's just going to be sitting there. So now this auto run event, we're going to have, we're going to do show text. And we're going to show gramps' face. And he says, Dearest Lizzie, my only remaining family. Oh, what happened to the rest of the family? It's mystery. It's all mystery, yeah. Simply remember our family spell. What if we want like some dramatic music? Mm. A dramatic mm. a dramatic sound effect. Let's say play sound effect. What what's a good sound effect? To play music effect. Music effect is what we want. Oh, oh that's no. perfect. Here's Sophia. Hello, Sophia. Hello. What's up? They won't even know there was a cut. All right. So Oregon, maybe. Well, yeah. <coughs> so they'll gonna... know because I finished my Indian food and I'm back over here. Jack has finished his Indian food. <laughs> it was too hot. It was very spicy. <coughs> My mango lassi isn't even helping. Why does that have a face attached? Oh, Gramps. That's Gramps. Good. That's good content. So then Lizzie will say, I will remember <laughs> Gramps. <coughs> Let's oh. let's get a quest. Like we could we could do something like go please, here. Go here and please whatever you do, remember not to. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. You know, and then he'll say, "You must go north on the overworld map." <laughs> <laughs> overworld map in all caps. That way, it's like a proper and title. And perform <laughs> a meaningless task at the. Ruins west of North Town. <laughs> <laughs> there is one thing you must not do. And then she'll say, 
Oh, this will be easy. What is it? <laughs> er, make sure not to dies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's our little cutscene. All right, not a lot of motion, but it's amazing. Uh, now what we need to do is make it so this stops running. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna control a switch. So I double click. I'm gonna say control switch. I'm gonna say switch one, and I'm gonna say opening scene done. Okay, easy to remember. So now it's gonna turn that on. Operation equals on. It's turning that on. So now I'm gonna hit apply. I'm gonna make a new event page on the same event. The trigger doesn't matter because it's off here. It's never gonna get pushed again. Yeah. Uh, and we're gonna say opening scene done. We're gonna click switch opening scene done. So now once that is once that's done, this event changes to this page, right? So that switch turned on and it switches to page two of the same event. So mm. that means that that auto run event won't ever happen again. So I hit OK, I reply, I hit OK. Uh, and then real quick, just so there's some nice little things, let's say Grandpa's got a piano. And let's say he's, he's a musical got, grandfather. Yeah, he's got some bookshelves, <coughs> whatever. And uh, let's put a door down here. What if we put stairs? Stairs. Maybe he lives in the base in a in a subterranean home. There's stairs up to the overworld. My heavens, heavens to Murgatroyd. Or a rope ladder. I see that at the top. Rope ladder. Use the rope ladder. Yeah, Gramps. Very weird, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we'll put this here. Mm. Let's put this map on the wall. Maybe Gramps likes to travel. Mm. He knows all about the overworld map, at he least. He did know all about it. We should put some of those like brick pillars or something since it's underground. He needs some structural support. Um, oh, these are just like stamping down, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Tiles, oh, baby. Boy. Tiles. All right, we're going to put the piano there. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, so I'm right-clicking to copy that uh, that thing. Uh, and now I'm right-clicking and highlighting, and then I'm putting the piano right there. Also, let's make a little treat. Let's make a little treat. A treat, you say? For our, our beautiful players. We're going to say this is on the same level as the... Uh, so priority is below means below your character. You can walk on it. Same as characters means you cannot walk on it. Uh... So that means it's going to be on our level, right? So we're going to say when you click, when you hit the action button on this, it's going to play a little piano noise. Fanfare 1 is cute. All right. So we're going to copy that so that anywhere you click on this piano, it'll do it. All right. Cool. And then we wanted to make Gramps disappear. Uh, so that means we're gonna have to name this event just so we can identify it. We're naming okay. that Gramps. Gramps. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to say, uh, right here, we're gonna say new. Control switch. Gramps goes. <laughs> okay. And we're gonna uh, have it play a sound effect. So I'm clicking uh, right click, and I'm saying new here. We're gonna go to two, play M E, which is music. Uh, play one of the heel ones. Where's that? Wait, it's in the sound. Play the sound effects. Heel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds like a bidet to me. Woo woo woo. Okay, let's test it. Let's test our game. Uh, Can sound, we play sound it? Good? Yeah. yeah, let's play the game. Okay, we're gonna have to turn that off. Just because it takes too long. Oh, great. We'll make a. Dearest Lizzie, my only remaining family. I'm not alone. See, she's <laughs> facing the right way. That's great. Just want to make sure that you remember feeling like... 
nice. Beautiful. I will remember, Graham. Please don't go. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I just got an idea. <laughs> He's gone! Nice! He's gone! It worked. We have to move the arrow keys, I forgot. And that's that works too, baby. Pretty rad. And we can go up that ladder, but not up the wall. Alright, everything's looking good so far. Bop! Okay. Uh, so now we're gonna need a bigger world map. <coughs> let's edit this and let's say width <coughs> 35 height 100 Autoplay uh, music. Let's do some kind of cool like Bender's here now That's a lovely song. Let's do that. Okay, sure. Uh, oh, yeah, this is in plugins So we're gonna go to plugins and we're gonna delete made with MV splash screen. Uh, that one. Oh yeah, we also need to get. Um, we're gonna need. Okay, so you're gonna go online and you're gonna download Yan Fly's Core Engine. This is some advanced stuff. Yeah, and then you put it in the JS plugins folder of your game. And what this does is it's a new plugin that it's a plugin made by Yanfly. I'll show you this website here. Yanfly.mo.yep. And then you go to MV plugins, okay? And you want the core engine. Sure. Okay? So then you download that and you put it in your your JS plugins folder. And then you go to plugins and you you want it to be first. I don't think we need that one. Uh, you want it to be first, you go Yanfly Core, yes on. So what we can do, all we're gonna do with this, this is a great engine regardless, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this game 720. So we're gonna say the width is, or the height is 720, oops, 720, and the width is 1280. That's a 16 by 9 ratio, it's just more fun. Okay, save. All right, now, the fun stuff. We're gonna build our world map, baby. Okay, so we're on the overworld map. We're gonna use this paintbrush tool to just make grass everywhere. I like this lush grass. Ooh, yeah. That looks like some healthy grass to right. me. Uh, whoopsies, oh gotta switch back to this. Then we're gonna make mountains around the edges of the map. Sound good. So you can't escape. So there's no escaping. Also, 100, very tall. <laughs> Quite tall. Hey, it's a big world. Hey, Why don't we make a coast on one side? Okay, that's cool. I like that. How about this? Oh, yeah. Oh, We're gonna yeah. We're going to do the circle. I want to do this part. Huh? I want to do this part. Alright. Alright, Jack is now going to make the world map. We don't need the keyboard at all. Hang on, First mountains off. are... The grass is weird on these mountains. See, the grass underneath is light grass. It is. We'll so fix that. We have to Hold use on. the big grass, like, here and there. Jack, by the way, is a professional... Uh... 3D game artist. What is it? 3D character modeler? 3D character artist. 3D That's character cool. artist. Are you allowed to say where you work? Yeah. I work at Heart Machine. He works at Heart Machine. I work the makers, at Heart Machine. Makers of um, Hyperlight Drifter. It's true. It's true. They made Hyperlight Drifter before my time there. Before he uh, worked there. Perfect. It's a masterpiece, that's right, I'm a professional. <laughs> put signs that say like what things are. Mm. Is that cool? Is that yeah. cute? It's very cute. 
the sign for Grandpa's house should say Grandpa's, Grandpa's house. house, yeah. Alright, that's enough for a small game. We're already... We've got a lot of things to contend with here. Uh... Roy... Oh, Royal... Estate. Admittance... Through invitation only. There is, I think, a way to get to the royal estate. Ooh, that's a late game thing. Late game thing. I don't think that's how you spell admittance. I don't think so either. I assume I misspelled just about everything. Uh, the tree of wisdom, too. <laughs> or else they'll never know. It's I the think tree the tree of wisdom. of wisdom is a secret. Oh. And if you click on the tree of wisdom, it'll speak to you. What does it say? I don't know. Does it ask you? I wonder if we can make a, a tree of wisdom. Character no. Maybe it. <laughs> maybe it is a tiger. <laughs> I am the tree of wisdom. <laughs> you look <laughs> like a tiger. Don't worry about <laughs> that. Riddle me this, lizard girl. <laughs> what do you think the answer to that riddle is? I'm gonna go show choices. Default choice none, so that you don't accidentally. No, no canceling. What else? The second choice would be feathers. <laughs> Number five should be. Frickemup.com. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we've we've done a, a show choices option, and what that means is it's gonna show these choices. So any wrong answer. He's gonna say, what am I doing? He's gonna say, no, please go away. <laughs> okay, and then that's going to control a switch. <coughs> it says, talked to tree wrong. Okay. Because we, we talked to the tree, but we was we was wrong. We was wrong. So we're gonna say that. Okay. So then, we'll, just for the sake of time, we're gonna put this on every wrong answer. <laughs> uh, and then here it'll say, "You cast frickumup.com on the tree <laughs> of wisdom and destroy it forever." <laughs> 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 can we make the can we have a fire picture? Yeah. A picture of a fire. So we're gonna say tree destroyed. And then that will kick this off. Uh and we I wonder if there's like a scorched earth <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh I think we'll can make a crater. <laughs> yeah. It's a crater in Talset Sea there. There was? Yeah. On the right. Oh, just a tiny little <laughs> crater, yeah. That's funny. All right. And then it's just <laughs> gone forever. Okay, this tree is the same as... Okay, so uh, what we also want is... Oh, wait, let's do the right answer first. Okay, so, um, so then he'll say, That is correct. All right, and then this will say, talked to tree right. Okay, so now we have multiple options. What does I don't know do? Oh yeah, we gotta do that. Well, Google it and <laughs> come back when you do. <laughs> this is a real good one. All right, so this is talked to tree wrong. So now he'll say, ready to try again? Riddle me this. Blah, blah, blah. Same garbage. Same options. Tra la la. Okay. And then if you're right, oh yeah, we wanted to talk. Uh, opening. Oh yeah, we need to make sure that the tree is still there or the tree will disappear and these other. Quay. Uh oh. Oh, we no. haven't saved in a long time. Lesson. True. Lesson moment. <laughs> this is uh, save your game for everyone to. At oh home. shoot! I just want to see. 
Oh no, 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 no. We just lost the tree. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. It's, it's not, sad. It's but... not the end of the world. Okay, for some reason, trying to add an image to this event is crashing my game. So I'm going to restart my computer. Uh, Jack has gone home. I restarted my computer. The dishwasher's running. I started the dishwasher. And I don't know why this thing keeps crashing when I try to put an image in this event. So I'm just not going to do that for right now. Uh, but anyway, I just want to cover a few more of the basic things that you need to know when you're making your basic game in RPG Maker, and then I'll stop the episode so I don't spoil the whole game, so that you can go and play for yourself. So one thing we haven't covered is how to move from one uh, location to another. So let's say this is below characters, and on player touch, it's gonna move you. So you set the trigger player touch. As soon as you touch this thing, it's gonna move you. So we're going to set that to transfer player, and we're going to click on map 1, and this is grandpa's house, and we're going to put you just north of grandpa's house, okay? Boom. Got it. That's that. That's all that is. So then we'll go to this map, and we'll say, if you touch, or if you go, if you stand on the house and you go action button, we're going to transfer the player to the base of the stairs. And actually, we don't want to retain the direction on that one. We want to make sure you're just looking down. So we'll say down, because you've just climbed the ladder. And you've turned around into the room. So that's that. So that's how you make a trans transfer from location to location. But let's just test the game out and see. If everything's going well, we won't have a splash screen, and it'll be 720. Turn this down a little bit. New game. So there we go. Now we're on the world map. Does this work? Yes. Back in our home. Now we're on the world map. Very cool. Oh, that's not snow, it's clouds. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. Well, that explains why it looks so weird. One thing we haven't done is had any battles. Let's look here. Let's make an enemy, and let's call him, like, thug or something. Image. He looks like a thug. He's got 100 hit points. His attack is going to be 5. And he'll just attack. And he drops an item. Let's make an item for him to drop. Uh, it's a key item. And it can't use it. And it's not consumable. So he'll drop that. Is that how you spell estranged? Yes. Alright, so for now, let's just put him here. So what we're going to do is make the make the event look sort of like that guy. Alright, so then we're going to say, so battle processing. Uh, oh, right, you have to set up your troops. So the enemy is just the enemy type, and the troop is the encounter, the combat encounter. So we're going to say thug. We're already in a grassland area. I'm going to add him. Cool. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, if you want to add events, you can say uh, after turn two, the thug will say, Oh, what's he look like? Alright, so we're going to have to make a guy that looks like this guy. Oh, I'm mad. I'm a mad guy. Base. Export. Thug. Alright, so troops. Turn to. Thug says, This is my turf. Don't make me hurt you, she'll say. And this will go battle processing. 
battle processing and we're gonna go thug okay uh, so now we probably aren't balanced for combat level 1 value 450 okay 90 all right. yeah, it might be all right let's just try it out all right so this time we're gonna make a save after all this garbage so we don't have to do it every time all right so we got a save there where did I put that guy here he is uh oh thug emerged so we can see that he's big and not moving so we'll probably make a character to be the bad guy fight so we need to make it so you can only do frickemup.com uh oh it did no damage so that's not right we have no weapons what happens if we attack so there's our our event though so that's cool Okay, so attack does damage. So frickemup.com doesn't do any damage. So we're gonna need to look at other spells and see how to make that happen. Ah, we won. Better do estranged wife. <laughs> okay, so then we needed to look at frickemup.com and why it's not doing any damage. Okay, so the formula we need, we're just gonna put the fire damage formula on here. Boom. Cool. <laughs> okay. Need to give him more hit points. Enemies. Uh, six, 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 baby! Nice. Oh, I need to see if there's a way to remove attack. All right, so I found a plugin. Um, all right, so this is the way a plugin works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a text document. I could do this in Visual Studio, but that's overkill. And I'm going to save this. What is it called? Actor Battle Command? Save as Actor Battle Commands.js. And I'm going to put that in our game folder. Plugins. Skia. So then I go here and I say, all right, you, actor battle commands, on. I'm trying a different plugin here. All right, so I found this plugin made by Tamfei. Thank you, Tamfei. No attack.js All right, let's put this in here. No attack. Disable attack. Nice. It works. So he can't seem to hit us, which is a little weird. All right. So his attack isn't high enough, it would seem. Yeah, that seems low. 15. Uh, what's our Defense and defense value 16. So let's give the thug an attack of 20. Get away from here. This is my turf. Don't make me hurt you. Yeah, he can hurt us now. Okay. Okay, so we've covered basic event creation. We've covered map making. We've covered making new areas, new maps. We've covered moving between two maps. We've covered battle system. We've covered using plugins. And that's a pretty decent place to start. The big thing to remember is uh, using switches. So if you want to have progress in your game, you use a switch. So you, in your event, you say this thing you know, trouble law happens, and then you have an event that says, turn this switch on, and then you can make f events happen, like come on later, that have that event uh, in the switch line. Let me show you what I mean. So uh, let's say that when we fight this guy, we then, if, if we win, let's say, uh, so yeah, if we lose, it would go to game over because we didn't click the can lose button earlier. 
So we've beaten thug. Beaten thug. So we're going to say we've beaten the thug. That's our, that's our name of our event, okay? That's going to turn on. So once that turns on, switch beaten thug is on. See? So I made up a new page. Page two, I clicked switch and I had beaten thug is on. So now this is just clear. There's nothing in it. And it's an empty event. So what happens when I beat the thug is that he goes away. And then let's say that we want a chest to appear in the space in front of him. And I'm going to save again because it kept blowing up when I would do that. So if I want something to appear after a switch is flipped, I leave the first page blank. And I go to the second page and I say, beaten thug switch is on. Okay? So then I go in here and I say, uh, well, first of all, let's make it look like a chest and see if it's going to crash our game. Are there chests in this chest? Here we go. That's a nice looking chest. Okay, cool. Apply. Okay, got it. And uh, so you go up to the chest and you will uh, get a potion. Increase constant one. So you're going to get one potion. But they won't necessarily know that they've gained a potion unless you tell them. So then you say, gained one potion. Yay. So let's test that out. Cool. All right, that worked. And it opens. Nice. Gained one potion. So now we can hit escape, go to the item menu. Oh, here we have a potion. And we can heal it. Heal up. Boom. Healed up. Very nice. Cool. And our guy's gone and the, the treasure's open. Oh, okay, so that's a problem. See, the event starts over every time because we didn't have it change a switch to not do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this event. Oop. We're going to go to this event. We're going to make another page. And we're going to say it's a chest, but it's already open. And this will say empty. Okay, let's try that on for size. Uh-oh. So it's already... So did you see real quick there? It was already on its third page. So it defaulted to that page. Or this one because it doesn't have a switch making it. So what we need to do is add an event here. Control switch. Got treasure. Potion. Okay. On. Okay, so now then we put this as got treasure potion. Now that should work. So our treasure chest is not there. Good, exciting battle. Okay, we slayed uh, the thug. Lizzie was victorious and got letter to a strange wife. Alright, gained one potion. So now it stays open. Empty. Awesome! Very cool! So we've covered the basics. We've covered events, battles, uh, dialogue, uh, changing switches and map creation and changing locations between two maps. That's the basics for what you would need to make your own game in RPG Maker MV. So I'm gonna finish up this game. Uh, this is actually going to be uh, I'm, I'm making this as a, a gift for the uh, $50 and up patrons. They're gonna get this a little early um, but if you go to frickemup.com, you can get this from my itch.io page right now uh, for free. So uh, check it out and uh, let me know what you think of it. And if you make any RPG games, let me know. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. Good night and good game.